it dawned on me why, as men, we have a severe need for a good woman. Now, when I say that, I'm not just saying it, you know, just from a, you know, uh, I'm not just giving, I'm not just giving empty speech. I'm not giving empty words. Um, of course, we all know from a scriptural standpoint that God created the woman and her responsibility. He said, it's not good for man to be alone. I will create a help meet for her. And I, I'm, I'm going to create help that's suitable and fitting for him. Excuse me. And so help me. It also means helper. It means intercessor. So helper, that's the same exact term that we got for when Jesus told the disciples, if I go back to my father, I will send back the comforter or the counselor or the helper, the Holy Spirit. So the same exact job description that God gave to the Holy Spirit is the same exact job description that he gave to the woman. So what I try to get sisters to understand is that their position is so powerful that they don't understand how powerful that position really is. And when a woman understands how powerful her position is, she has the capability of creating or forming greatness in that man. But if she don't know how powerful her position really is, if you don't know the purpose of a thing, you will abuse it. So if you don't understand the purpose of the woman, you will abuse that purpose. And you have to understand that the power that the woman has, the woman functions just like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit functions through what? Influence. Everything that we do that was led by Holy Spirit, we were influenced by Holy Spirit to do it. Right? Now, influence can build up and it can destroy because the woman has influence. If she don't understand that position that she had, that position of power that she had, she could fold that man up like a sheep. Fold him up like a sheep. She could say things out of her mouth and she could tear him in two. Because of that position that she holds. But if she utilized that position, because help her, help me, that ain't just no sidebar position. <laughs> I know that, I, I know that, you know, westernized religion have painted the woman as just a little sidebar position. But when you understand the power of the feminine energy, the power of the feminine energy. And this is why I try to tell sisters, sisters, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be rough and tough and act like a man. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Because the feminine energy is far more powerful than you acting like a, a man. It's far more powerful. <laughs> feminine. I was talking to my partner about this, you know what I'm saying, my homie Damon. Damon said, think about a female lion, the lioness. You know, you don't see her making a whole lot of noise. You don't see her doing a whole lot of roaring and all that like the, like the male lion, like the lion. The lioness, she, she ain't doing all that. But she the hunter. She the one that's going out in, 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 in the wild and, 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 and attacking wildebeest and and bringing the wildebeest back to the pride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that lioness. She ain't doing all that rough and tough and, oh, and all that. No. 
But see, when women have to understand, you don't have to be rough and hard and tough like a man. You ain't got to do that. You be a woman, a feminine woman. That's powerful. Let me show you what brought me to this conclusion. So, I'm, I'm in my little personal time, you know what I'm saying, doing my little reading time or whatever. And my wife came, she said, hey, uh, did you have anything planned for the night? I say, oh yeah, 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 you know, um, you know, I wanted us to go hang out and, you know, just kick it, just me and you, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, put some clothes on, get fly, you know what I'm saying, listen to some music, you know, da da da. You know, I'm thinking pleasure. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking pleasure, right? My wife reeled me back in real quick. She said, well, I was thinking that, you know, we could come together, us and the children, and set our goals for 2021, and get prepared for this year. I said, hmm? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I said, I said Excuse me, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> what what is wrong with me? Thinking about pleasure as opposed to purpose. Mmm. She got on me quick. Cause see, I tell you in a minute. You know what I'm saying? You put purpose over pleasure. Purpose over pleasure. Purpose over pleasure. So I'm thinking about pleasure, but my woman thinking about purpose so she ain't have to oh uh-uh i can't believe we got a family and you thinking about going out and having fun and she ain't do that she ain't do that she said she say well i was thinking we could just come together as a family and just go uh, set our goals for 2021 and focus on that and do that for the night. That's what she said. She ain't roll her eyes. She ain't do her neck like that. She ain't grab no air. And what you need to be. And you know you. you, you she, she ain't. She ain't. You, you know you. You just got a book. And you ain't. You ain't. What, what's your plans for 2021 with your book? It, it, no, 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 no. Say, we gonna set some goals. Let's take this time out to set goals. Let's set our goals for 2021. As a family. You understand? And I'm talking about, hey, she whipped me into shape quick. <laughs> I got whipped into shape quick. And see, this is the reason why it's important for us as men to have a good woman in our life. Because, I mean, I could have, you know, I could, my, she could have been like, oh, yeah, let's go turn up tonight. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get it in. Yeah. And the, no. Now, baby, I was thinking that we just kind of come together as a family and and work on our goals for 2021 immediately but but i i got down in my spirit and in my heart purpose over pleasure but she brought that to my when she said what she said she brought that to my remembrance you know the holy ghost he bring things back to your remembrance you see what i'm saying that's what my woman did in that moment in time so I'm just saying, bro, that, that's 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 the that's the importance of a man having a good woman in his life, man. Ladies, I want to tell you, you got more power than you think you do. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. Don't destroy the man. Don't take his head off. He got enough problems and issues and trouble in the world. Why are you gonna bring him some more? Mm-mm. Remember that, ladies. It's only one thing you should be making hard for your man.